Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Brian with Radical Prep. Obviously, you're here because you want to learn uh, how to take the new SAT and you want to score higher. So I'm starting off with this lesson with solving one variable equations. It's super easy stuff. This is a beginner lesson, but something you got to have mastered and under your belt to solve any of the hard ones. So I, I'm setting you up with all the steps here on how to solve one variable equations. Okay, it's going to be review and the PDF is in the link in the window below. It's totally for free. So follow along at home. You can always check back with the answers or watch now and we'll go through it. So let's dive right in. How do you solve one variable equations? And you probably learned this in school, but I'll just kind of review the steps with you. Um, algebra is all about getting the variable by itself. So the variable on one side, the numbers on the other. How do you do that? Well, let's take a look with this first one. First thing you're going to do, step one, combine any like terms. And we got this problem right here and you can see there's X's on one side. So I'll underline them. That's what I do with my students. So you can read this as literally 2x minus 6x. So that's negative 4x. I'll bring down the rest of the information. So now step two, add or subtract numbers away from the variable. So there's a negative 21 here next to the x. Since it's negative 21, I'll do the opposite. I'll add 21. Add 21. So now we get uh, negative 4x equals 28. All right, step three, multiply or divide numbers away from the variable. That's a negative 4x. So I'll divide by negative 4. Divide by negative 4. And that crosses out. 28 divided by negative 4. x equals negative 7. And the last step here, um, square root or square numbers. We didn't have to do that. So we're not going to worry about that in this situation. All right, let's try another one. 2x squared minus 8 equals 16 minus 4x squared. Can we combine any like terms? Right now, no. But what we're going to do is we'll get all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other. So let's do this. I like keeping things positive. So let's add 4x squared. Do the opposite sign, right? Add 4x squared. So we get 6x squared minus 8 equals 16. Now what do you do? Well, we want to get all the numbers on the other side. So this is a negative 8. So I'll add 8, right? So we're adding and subtracting numbers away from the variable. So we get sec, uh, sex. 6. <laughs> 6x squared equals 24. Okay. Um, what do we do now? Multiply, divide numbers away from the variable. So divide by 6, divide by 6, and we get x squared equals 4, and we'll write x equals 2. If this is a gridden question on the SAT, only gridden questions or answers are positive, so we'll just make believe it is and we'll say x equals 2. Alright, so those are the steps. Let's practice slightly harder ones. Number 3. So this is kind of using or doing an example on the SAT. They might give you examples where there's extra information. All right. They throw you off by giving you extra stuff. So this is parentheses 3B plus 2 minus parentheses 5B minus 6 equals 8. And they want you to find B. So what I'll tell you is that the, the tricky part is they're giving you parentheses really for no reason. So we're going to get rid of it and distribute that negative. We got to distribute the negative into both. So I'll rewrite this 3B plus 2, that's a minus 5b, and that's minus times a minus 6, plus 6, equals 8. So now, step 1, combine like terms. I'll underline the same stuff. 3b minus 5b, negative 2b. There's a 2, and there's a 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. And what do you know? The whole thing equals 8. So I'll minus everything that we can away from the variable. So we have negative 2b equals 0. Divide or multiply numbers away from the variable. And we get b equals 0. And you're done. Put anything on the top, if there's a 0 on the top, 0 over a million, 0 over y, whatever it is, it always equals 0. Let's take another one. Uh, for what value of a is 60 equal to 3 over d minus 12? So I'll just rewrite it again. 60 equals 3 over d, d minus 12. Well, what's our first step? Can we combine like terms? 
Not really. I can add or subtract numbers away from the variable. Let's add 12, add 12, gone. So 72 equals 3 over D. So here's a nice little trick. If you want to, um, if you got a variable in the, in the denominator, just flip it. But if you flip one side, you got to flip the other. So now this is going to be 1 over 72 equals D over 3. You see what I did there? I just flipped it. So now, how do I get rid of the 3 on the bottom? Multiply by the reciprocal. So multiply by 3 over there. I'll multiply by 3 over there. Boop. Cancels out. And what is 3 over 72? 3 divided by 72. Math fraction is 1 over 24. So you could probably leave it as a decimal, but that's 1 over 24 equals D. Right? So I'll just write it here. 3, that's 3 over 72, which we simplified to 1 over 24. So your answer is 1 over 24. All right? That's it. Let's keep moving along. Keep practicing. This is the easy stuff, right? We're going to review. All right. Big strategy on the SAT is cross multiplying. I can't tell you how many times it comes in handy. So when do you do it? It says when a fraction is set equal to another fraction, variable, or integer, cross multiply, and it's effective like 99% of the time. So let's check it out. We've got these two equations set equal, and it wants to know what is x. Well, all the, all they told me to, or all they taught me in school was just do this, make the cross there, and multiply. So that's 2x plus 2 times 3, I'm writing that stuff there, equals, and then it's this stuff times this stuff. So it's x plus 6 times 8. Notice how I use parentheses, right? Because I want to keep everything nice and organized and neat. I don't want to make mistakes. You guys, if you can do it in your head and speed up time on the SAT, great. Go ahead. Now I distribute, right? That into there, that into there. So that's 6x plus 6 equals distribute that 8x plus 48 now I use all the steps I did before I'm gonna minus 6x from both sides because I want to keep things positive so we get 6 equals 2x plus 48 I'll minus 48 because I want to get all the numbers away from the variable right remember numbers on one side variables on the other so what is that? 6 minus 48 is a negative 42. Negative 42 equals 2x. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So sorry, this is just divided by 2, divided by 2. So we get x equals negative 21. Sorry, they got a little crammed up over there. But if you use a calculator, negative 42 divided by 2 gives you negative 21. Okay, and you can always plug it back in and check, but we'll, we'll just, for sake of argument, we'll assume it's right. All right, so in number six, we've got two fractions set equal to each other, and it looks a little more complicated. So let's try and clean this up a little bit. It says, after evaluating the expression above, what is the value of C? Well, this top one here, let's clean it up. We've got 4C plus 6 all over 5 equals... I'm going to distribute that negative, so you guys tell me what you get. Hopefully you said, I'll write it here first, c minus 2c plus 8. Okay, And c minus 2c is just negative c, uh, plus 8 all over 3. So now let's cross multiply, and I'll keep parentheses in here. So that's negative c plus 8 times 5 equals 4c plus 6 times 3. So it's negative 5c plus 40 equals uh, 12c plus 18. Okay, so now let's move the 5c's over. I'll add. So i got to do the opposite. 5c. And here I'm going to minus 18. And minus 18. So that cancels out. And what's 40 minus 18 is uh, 22. So 22 equals 12 plus 5 is 17. And unfortunately, we get a weird number, but it's going to happen on the SAT. 
So let me write this over here. We got, um, sorry, 22 equals 17C. What do I do now? Divide by 17, divide by 17. Boop, we're all good. C equals 22 over 17. And you're done. You can find a decimal answer, but I'll just leave it like that right now. Okay, let's move on. What do we got next? Number seven. All right, so it looks like we're getting more difficult here, more um, bigger, bigger examples. So this one says uh, 18 minus 8D plus 12Y equals 12Y minus all that muck. What is 1 over D? So notice now that they don't want D, they want 1 over D. So pay attention to that. So let's do this. When I see a 12Y on one side and a 12 on the other, you can literally just call, cancel it out. Same thing on both sides, just cross it out. All right, because they're really minusing 12Y from both sides and that's, that's what's going on. So let me rewrite this stuff. Equals, that's a negative two times two. Negative four D. Negative two times negative three, six. All right, so now let's let's do this. Let's add the 8D, add the 8D, and then I'm gonna do get the numbers on the other side. So I'll minus the six, I'll minus the six. So that's gonna cancel out. And we get negative four plus eight is four. So four D, that will cancel out. 18 minus six is 12. All right, not bad. We'll divide by four, divide by four, and we get D equals three. But don't be one of those SAT students who's like, oh, I got it, I'm done. And you get the question wrong because they're looking for one over D. So one over D, we're just flipping both sides. That's one over three. We flip one, we flip the other. So your final answer is one third. Just be careful, okay? Next one. Uh, this is a typical one you'll see at the beginning of a section, especially on the old SAT, and I've seen a few of them on the new SAT. 8y minus 6 equals 26, then 8y plus 6 equals. Well, the nice trick is if you want to get something to be plus 6, the trick for this one could be just add 12. That's the fastest way to do it. Add 12. Well, then that's 8y, negative 6 plus 12, is 6, 26 plus 12 is 38. So that was the fast way of doing it, because now we have 8y plus 6, and it's equal to 38. So 38 is your final answer. You're all done. Nice quick way of doing it. Let's keep going. Oh, all right, that's it. I thought I had more. I do have more in the two variable uh, lesson. You can just hit next, and that should be the next video. If you need tutoring, email me. Um, definitely check out my website, RadicalPrep.com. Take care, guys.